Hi everyone, welcome to this very quick and easy tutorial on how to make your own little moss garden. Um, this was an experiment for myself, but I thought in case it turned out that I would record the process and it actually did turn out. So now you get to see the wonderful result of my efforts. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do and make this wonderful moss terrarium. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them, but as everything with gardening, there's a lot of information on YouTube, online, on Google. Um, just about anything you're wondering, you can look up. So uh, without further ado, here is the process. First, you're going to find a jar. Now, I like to use pickle jars, so I'm cleaning out this pickle jar and uh, removing the label. This is fairly easy to do, and there's my goo gone. I'm just going to spray it and get rid of the um, label so that it's nice and clear and I can see all the way through. If you bought a container from a store, then obviously you can skip this step. Uh, I am a frugal queen, so I am just using a jar that I already had, and I enjoyed those delicious pickles, and now the pickle jar gets a second home for little moss babies. might take some time to clean the label off, so do be patient. It will come off. And now I'm just going to get the wonderful gardening tools that you will need for this process. So what I used was just a little gardening shovel. You can also use your hands if you're that type of gardener, um, but I found a shovel to be easier, for, and gloves too, but I didn't end up using them. Then uh, you're going to collect some rocks. I found some in my backyard, but you could also use aquarium gravel. You could use Leka from Ikea. It's $8 a bag. It's a great thing to use for terrariums. But if you are gathering them from outside your home, do wash them. Because um, you never know what's living on there. And you want to sterilize anything before you put it in your terrarium, just to make sure you're not bringing anything extra in. And now I'm just adding those rocks in, trying not to make too much noise. Just about a layer of about an inch is enough. You just want to have some good drainage in there. Um, but because you will be spraying this and not dumping water in, it should evaporate. Um, and there's many resources online that will kind of indicate how long you should leave the lid on, if you should leave it on at all, and when to take it off. Um, to let some oxygen in, but uh, they can be self-sustaining without oxygen, so keep that in mind. Now I'm just adding some dirt. I use just regular topsoil for this. You can use, uh, I know there's different terrarium soil mixtures. It's um, whatever you prefer, whatever your skill level is. For now, I'm just using good old topsoil. This is my haphazard setup in my house and my winter setup. Normally I have a potting bench in the shed behind my house, um, but this will have to do for the winter because uh, I found out the hard way that soil will freeze outside. Next you're going to harvest your moss or buy online if that's your fancy. Um, I got this embarrassingly from the bottom of my driveway. I saw it when I was leaving the house one day and I thought, you know what would be great if I could turn this into a little terrarium. And I figured because it wasn't in a forest, you know, lower risk for pests or different weird creatures to come in on the moss, um, then you're going to wash it and admire how beautiful the moss is because, wow, look at all those little bits. I think I got some really good pieces of moss. Then you're going to do a little technique called flash freezing. Um, it can be anywhere from an hour to... I'd say no more than two and a half hours. Yep, bye. See you, moss. You're going to leave it in there. Um, after an hour, you're going to take it out and then keep it in the Ziploc bag. If you are concerned about pests like I was, leave it quarantined from anywhere up to two days, three days to a week. After that, you should be okay if you don't see any little bugs in the bag. At this point, you're going to take the moss out. Just give it one last inspection. Just make sure it looks okay. I didn't see any pests at all. I was very lucky. Um, 
yeah, some little pieces might come off, but that's okay. And then you're going to put it right into the terrarium. Don't be afraid to be messy with this part. Kind of just fit it in wherever they'll go because they'll they'll spread out and, and make their home however they want once they start rooting and getting more comfortable in the terrarium. So kind of just fit them in um, however they go into the container best. It's no exact science. Uh, whatever you think. This is the artistic portion of the terrarium building, so to speak. Make sure they're nice and tight in there. There's my little arrangement. Reminds me of a summer hillside. Quite serene. And that's the uh, finished product. I'm hoping this will take off and be happy in its new home. And uh, all we can do is our best, right? So spraying it every day. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to leave the lid on or intermittently take it off and put it back on or leave it off for longer periods of time. That'll kind of be an experimentation process for me. But uh, look at how nice it looks on my shelf with my plants. I'm really happy with how this turned out. There I am showing you me spraying it. Isn't that nice? And that's everything for my little moss terrarium. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will leave a little step-by-step -step process in the description box. And here's the final product. It's very cute. I'm very happy with it. And it only took a couple days to do uh, just because of the waiting period with the moss. But I think this is a very beginner-friendly project, especially if you forage the moss yourself or it's easy enough to buy it online at a supplier and sterilize it yourself. Even if it's not wild moss, you should still sterilize it just to make sure there aren't any little hitchhikers on your moss. Thank you. Bye.